Well, good morning, Freedom Forgers. Hey, today we are gonna make pancakes from scratch. And so let's get going. Let me tell you what I'm doing here. I have got a recipe for pancakes and I am gonna make half of that recipe because that will give just enough pancakes for me and the husbands. Just make it out of ingredients that you already have on hand. So let me tell you what I've got here. I've got two cups of flour. We're gonna put that right in there. I have one tablespoon of sugar three teaspoons of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of salt. And there we go. And so what you're gonna do is you're going to take and you're gonna mix all these dry ingredients up. I'll just use a whisk to do that. Just incorporate everything really good. All right, and then we're gonna set that aside. Now in this bowl here, we're gonna mix all of our wet ingredients. So the first thing we're gonna need is we're going to need a tablespoon of oil. You can use uh, melted coconut oil. Uh, you can use just about any oil. You just don't want to use olive oil. This is just vegetable oil, so there's a tablespoon. And we're gonna put in one egg, freshly laid this morning. Just like that. And the last thing we're gonna put in is three quarters of a cup of milk. And so we're just gonna put that in. All right, so that is all of our wet ingredients. And we're gonna bring our bowl back over here that has our flour mixture. Take our whisk, we're just gonna make a little well down in the bottom of that flour. Just a place for that liquid to go. And we're gonna pour that right in. All right, we're gonna mix this until there are no lumps, and it's gonna be a pretty thick batter. And if it's too thick, you can add a little bit more milk. Let's take a look here. Ah, no, it's runny enough. So you want it kind of that consistency right there. You don't want it super runny, else that'll make a really thin pancake. I might just say that you want to add the oil to the recipe, make sure you don't skip that part because that is what is going to keep your pancake from sticking on the pan, especially if you're using cast iron. All right, you can see that we've got a nice smooth batter there. It's just the right consistency, not too runny. And that's gonna be perfect. So let's get to cooking. All right, you guys, let's cook a pancake. Now, what you see here is I've preheated my 12 inch Lodge cast iron skillet. And I've got this on medium heat. Now you might find that you need to adjust your heat. Each stove's a little bit different. But here's what I do. I use uh, an ice cream scoop this ice cream scoop right here. And I just have that much batter in it. And I pop that right in the center. This gives you a nice uniform pancake. And I just kind of take that and go around circularly to make the, make it all even. You want that about a half inch thick. And we're gonna let that go ahead and cook. And then we'll be back to show you when you need to turn that. All right guys, we are just about ready to turn our pancake. You can see that these bubbles are starting to form. You want to wait until you see some bubbles form. You can see some bubbles that have popped and they've kind of left a, a little hole there. You don't want to turn it too fast. And you want to make sure you lift up the edge and kind of peek underneath to see if it's brown and that is perfect. So you, if it sticks at all, it's not ready yet. And you got to make sure you have your pan preheated. Just kind of work this pancake turner around, get it all loose, and then flip it. And you're just going to let that rise, and you're going to do the same thing. Now you won't be able to see the bubbles, obviously, but you'll be just peek under the edge and see if it's brown, and then you'll know that it's done. Now, um, if you have your temperature up too high, the batter won't cook in the center. So if you notice it getting brown too fast, you're going to need to adjust your heat. And we'll, we'll check this one here in a minute to see what it's looking like. All right, guys, we're gonna check to make sure that this is pancakes done. And you don't have to do this on every one, just so that you can see how you're doing. So we're gonna flip the pancake over. We're just gonna kind of poke a little hole on the underneath side. I don't see any gooey batter, so we are good. All right, I'm gonna get all of these cooked and we'll be back in just a jiffy. Thought I'd bring you back for this last pancake. Uh, you can see that I've just got a little bit of batter in there and there's some on the side. So we're gonna use this rubber spatula to get all of that that we can and we're just going to use what's left to make our final pancake. I love these rubber spatulas. 
they just make everything so great you have very little waste that way kind of swirl that around to make it nice and round and I can hear that batter sizzling which tells me that it's getting a little bit too warm so I'm just going to back my heat off a little bit we'll be back for that final turn of that pancake all right, guys, our final pancake is done. I've turned it, and it's cooked on the bottom. You can see it's perfectly brown, so we're going to add that to our stack. And you can see that uh, that makes four beautiful pancakes. So if you need more pancakes, you can simply double the recipe, or you can triple the recipe. It's very easy to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get these ready to eat, and we'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, there you go. Pancakes made from scratch. And you know what's so great about that? You don't have to buy pancake mix. You don't have to worry if you ran out of pancake mix. If you just keep some simple ingredients on hand, you'll be able to make pancakes anytime you want. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some of this elderberry syrup on here. And in a future video, we'll have an elderberry syrup making video so you can learn how to make this too because it's good for you and it's delicious. So let's just pour some of that on there. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Wish you were here to have a bite. I'm going to enjoy. A couple things I forgot to tell you is you just want to make sure that you use a metal spatula when you're using cast iron. It makes it much easier to get under the pancake and turn it. So thanks for watching, you guys. I'm going to enjoy my breakfast, and we'll see you next time. Hey, and don't forget to go over to ForgingFreedomPodcast.com and listen to our podcasts. We'll talk to you next time. Hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see the next video.